They began dating in 1986 and tied the knot almost a decade later, in 1997. And in scenes set to air on Friday's installment of The Graham Norton Show, Helen Mirren, 76, gushes about spending lockdown in America with her film director husband Taylor Hackford, 77. The actress enthuses over the quality time they spent together for the first time in 30-odd years during the peak of the COVID pandemic. Asked about spending lockdown with Taylor, Helen reveals, for the first time in 30-odd years of marriage we sat at the table opposite each other and had dinner together every night for six months, it was fantastic, brilliant. Helen is on the chat show alongside actor Jim Broadbent, with whom she co-stars in their new comedy crime drama The Duke. Talking about her role, Helen says, I swore to myself that I would never play a character that is described as a long-suffering, but she is, and she is a great character. This turned out to be Roger Michelle's last film. He was a great film director and I think it is a wonderful to have this as his last because it is very funny, but at the same time it has great emotional depth. Jim, talking about the roles he is most known for, admits, it's only fools and horses more than anything else and it goes across the generations, kids who weren't even alive when we made it say Slinger is their favorite. Revealing Roy Slater was at the part he was first offered in the iconic show, Jim says, Originally I was second choice for Del Boy. The first choice was Enrido, but he didn't fancy it and I couldn't do it because I was doing a show in the West End. Luckily David Jason was available so my biggest contribution to British culture is not being available. Helen and Jim star in The Duke, produced by Nicky Bentham, which is a moving true story that celebrates a man who is determined to live a meaningful life. Set in 1961, it follows the story of Kenton Bunton, a 60-year-old taxi driver, who stole Goya's portrait of the Duke of Wellington from the National Gallery in London. It was the first, and remains the only, theft in the gallery's history. and proceeded to send ransom notes declaring that he would only return the painting on the condition that the government invest more in care for the elderly, specifically bringing attention to his long-running campaign for pensioners to receive free television. What happened next is the stuff of legends. Only 50 years later did the full story emerge and it was revealed that Kempton had spun a web of lies. Elsewhere on The Graham Norton Show, Adele, 33, speaks out on the controversy surrounding her cancelled Las Vegas shows as well as her plans for more children. The singer addresses her cancelled Vegas dates for the first time, admitting her regret at the last-minute announcement as she insists it would have been a half-day ad show, if she had gone ahead. She also promises the concerts will happen in 2022 as she plans to have a baby next year with her sports agent boyfriend Rich Paul. Adele appears on the Graham Norton show alongside Dame Helen Mirren, Jim Broadbent, Golda Rochudo, and George Ezra on Friday 11 February BBC 1 10.35pm and available on BBC iPlayer.